Bear Country, you'll know when you're there. As soon as you enter, you'll feel like a bear. A great grizzly bear. A Berenstain bear. We are the Berenstain Bears. Mama, Papa, Sister, Brother. We appreciate each other. We live in a split level tree. Mama, Papa, Sister, and me. Snuggest buds in a split level tree. Here are more Berenstain Bears. Factual, factual. Big boy bear. Rapids are out. A horse. Hey, honey, bugger. I'm the mayor. And lots, lots more. Bears galore. You may think that this starts our show. Well, it does. stomach telling me it's time for lunch. Good old lunch. It has a nice midday ring to it. Breakfast is nice too, in the morning of course. Then there's dinner. Ah, uh, dinner. Uh, but for now, lunch. Cubs, time to wash up for lunch. All right. Yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> they take after their papa. Never late for a meal. If I... No, that wouldn't work out at all. <gasps> Something on your mind, dear? I just had a call from Cousin Min. Oh, what's the news from Min? Well, it's both good and bad. Hey, this vegetable soup is delicious, Mama. Especially with your homemade bread. Why, thank you, Cubs. Well, about Min, the good news is that she's about to have her first cub. A baby! Great! How about that? And what's the bad news? She doesn't have anybody to help with the baby for those first few days. Her husband travels a lot. Min certainly could use the help of an experienced mama bear. Maybe you ought to go and lend her a hand. She'd like me to, but Min lives way on the other side of bear country. No problem. Just go ahead and stay with Min for a few days and leave me, Papa Q Bear, in charge here. Leave the house and the cubs in your charge for a few days? <laughs> you can't be serious. And why not? Well, being a mama bear takes quite a lot of doing. Managing the house, the cooking, tending to all the things that come up day by day. Piffle, you're forgetting something, my dear. What's she forgetting, Papa? She's forgetting Papa Power. Pure, unadulterated papa power. Why, I'll go through this place like a knife through hot butter. <laughs> a mama bear's job is really pretty simple. Why, with my superior organizational skills... Simple? Simple? Why, of all the... I'll get it. Hello? That's wonderful. Yes, I'll tell him. Okay, bye. It's word about Cousin Min. She's a mother. Was it a boy or a girl? Both, a boy and a girl. She had twins. Isn't that a surprise? She'll certainly have her hands full. That settles it. Papa, I'm going to have to take you up on your offer. I'm staying with Cousin Min for a few days. We'll help out and keep an eye on Papa. We'll make sure he doesn't goof things up too much. Don't you worry. When you get back, the house will be neat as a pin. It better be, because if it isn't, I'll show you a pin. A rolling pin. Oh, I'm sure you'll be fine. Good catch! Got it! I'll make quick work of this. What are you doing, Papa? I'm going to give your mama a little lesson in Papa power. For starters, I'm beating all the rugs. Look at all that dust. What a swing! What a backhand! Underhanded! <coughs> Overhanded! Oh no! I just remembered something! Show him no mercy! Yeah! Pow! <laughs> Look, no hands! Wah! Papa, stop! Before it's too late! <coughs> Before Mama left, she did the wash! Now it's covered! 
covered with rug dirt. Uh, uh, no problem. We'll just leave it hanging and uh, hope for rain. Besides, I have more important matters to attend to. I have to plan dinner. <coughs> oh, mercy me. What's going on? All that awful noise and these dust clouds. <coughs> That was just Papa beating some rugs. Goodness, I thought it was some sort of attack. It was a Papa power attack. The worst kind. Well, let me know if I can be of any assistance. After all, I live just across the way. Thanks, Mr. Skunk. What's wrong? Papa said he was uh, planning dinner. Ugh, we've got to talk him out of it. I know. We'll get him to take us instead to the Burger Bear. All right, great idea. Well, at least we tried. Your taste buds are in for a real treat. Here comes my super special, honey mustard salmon. Mm. And to think, you tried to talk me into going to the Burger Bear for dinner. Looks like honey mustard coal. Smells like burnt fish. A little well done, perhaps, but hardly burnt. Say, Cubs, I have a splendid idea. Delicious. I love this place. You know, Papa, the Burger Bear serves breakfast, too. It'd sure be a lot easier on you if we stop by tomorrow for breakfast. I won't hear of it. Breakfast happens to be my best meal. Why, my super fluffy triple flip pancakes are famous all over the world. <laughs> yep, nothing like Papa's pancakes to wake up to in the morn. Well, what do you think? I think I'm going to try to get to sleep. Maybe I'll have a nice, quiet nightmare. Yes, sirree. These aren't Mama's ordinary pancakes. Mine are homemade from a rare old Papa Bear family recipe. Breakfast at the Burger Bear, indeed. <laughs> now for my patented triple flip. Hush, I'm concentrating. Oh no, they're stuck to the ceiling. No problem. Eat healthy, Cubs. Mama's ceiling is clean enough to eat off. <laughs> oh. Papa, what are you doing? While Mama's gone, I intend to maintain a warm, home-like atmosphere. And there's nothing cozier than a crackling fire in the fireplace. Don't forget to open the chimney flue before you light it. Now, now, remain calm. Yay! Open the windows! I'll put it out with this old thing. That's Mama's best throw pillow. Like this! Papa, your way is not the way. It's a disaster area. All this smoke and feathers. A wet mess in the fireplace and that awful fish smell. Not to mention the filthy clothes on the line. Mama's not going to like this. Speaking of Mama, who does she think she is anyway? Leaving us for a total stranger, Cousin Min. Why, I have a good mind to... Oh! Mama! I was just talking about you. <laughs> I've got good news. Cousin Min's neighbors are pitching in so well that my help really isn't needed. So I'm coming home early. Isn't that nice? I'll be seeing you pretty soon. Bye, Cubs. Nice knowing you. Where are you going, Papa? The park's unknown. Maybe I'll join the Bear Foreign Legion, or perhaps try Pago Pago. Panic isn't the answer. Sometimes when you're older, son, you'll find there are times when panic is the only answer. Knock, knock. Mr. Skunk, come in. I saw all the smoke and wondered, gracious me. You see, Papa... No need to say any more. I get the point. And I know exactly what to do. Open your windows. We already did that. Good. All you need now is a little neighborly help. I'll be right back. What do you think he's up to? Don't know, but when Mr. Skunk sets his mind to something, it gets done and fast. You can say that again. Look! Hey, Mr. Skunk brought all our forest friends. We all know our jobs, so let's get to work. Everything's got to be ship shape on the double. <laughs> uh, 
The place looks great. We're always ready to lend a neighbor a hand. Well, it was very nice of you, and... <gasps> what about all those dirty clothes? No problem. The raccoons are washing them in the brook. They'll dry them in the sun and get them back before they're missed. Here comes Mama. <laughs> Mama! We're, we're so glad, glad you're home! I'm so glad to be home. I missed you so. My goodness, the house is spotless. It's as though I was never gone. I'm proud of all of you. I shouldn't have doubted your papa power. Well, I'd better start getting dinner ready. Oh, no, Mama. Papa promised to take us all to the Burger Bear for dinner as a reward. I did? A reward for what? As a reward for keeping our mouths shut about what happened while Mama was gone. As a reward for uh, helping me over the rough spots. <laughs> oh? There were rough spots? Oh, couple. <laughs> <laughs>